All right, Vito Tech Pack Blackout Edition. This is not a review on the bag itself. Uh, link in the description once I upload it, and maybe a, a card up here if you want the actual review of this bag. Um, you know, spoiler alert, it's fa it's fantastic, but uh, let's get into it. This is how I have it set up. <clears throat> you can look back at my videos and see the work I did. It's pretty much a little bit of everything, but this is absolutely um, so far the best investment uh, that uh, I've had in this um, hand tool kind of way of about going about things as far as organization and everything. Uh, the bag's great, set up great. Um, let's get into it. <clears throat> Again, this is not a review of the bag itself. Go to the next, go to the video that's linked in the description or a card. Um, that'll give me my review of the bag itself. But this is just how I have it set up. And, you know, I know when I was shopping for this bag, you know, a bit ago for a while, I always watch these v reviews just to see how everybody else had it set up and see if it would work for me. And, spoiler, it does work for me. So, all right, the front part, um, have my uh, headlamp right attached to it. And then I've got also um, some basic, you know, wire nuts in the front to keep the impact. Gloves, pretty cool, uh, you know, pouch right there up front. I don't, I just keep the Velcro. We got the common, uh, you know, nut drivers I have. I think they're half inch, uh, 13 and 14. And then some additional extensions, some smaller in here. But it's pretty, it's pretty thick. It's pretty, it's, it's great. It's, 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 it works out for me for sure. So on the right side, I've got myself a little um, magnetic tray. It keeps obviously what I need here. And if I'm tearing anything apart, I can put, you know, nuts, whatever it's, you know, that is metal that I can uh, keep track of. That way I don't lose it. I've got, well, apparently I've got America t uh, tape here, but uh, red, white, and blue. But that way I can, I can label, if I'm multiple runs, I can actually have them labeled, you know, different color codes. Um, coax strippers, don't use these much, but they're here if I need it. And then we have half inch and five eighths, um, quarter inch hex bits with the little, with the number, I think these number two Phillips extensions pretty good on um, the sides you know pretty standard these do sometimes take you know if I'm going around it, it, the magnet actually kind of sometimes takes the bits out but they stick to the magnet so it works out great now on the left side pencils I do have uh, on another extension here this is the Makita one they just relaunched it so I'll see how that goes and then the tape my um, eye crescent tape great uh, I mean not much else on this side you guys it's pretty much pretty much the gist of it so we'll go to the back side in case you're wondering, like every other pack, it comes up just like that. And uh, let's get the zipper. Back here is where I don't use as much, but it's here. Low voltage, Allens, coax, snips. We've got scissors, data, some small, small, you know, small vice grips, punch downs, data scissors. Uh, another, another coax stripping tool. Let's put that right there. The 12 half inch and th uh, 7 sixteenths. 7 sixteenths usually for F connectors, half inch for everything that's half inch for me. That's that's what it is. So um, these do obviously, like you saw in my other video, they do come out with a little Velcro, but works out for me. I don't need this to be a laptop side or anything like that. It's fantastic. Uh, cable mapping, you know, stud finder works out great. Some Lyman's pliers, I don't use those very often, but they're here basically it guys I mean and then also I, in down in here I do have F connectors um, some barrels some uh, toners some mapping so that's all in there it's pretty sweet and you get the little magnet right here I haven't used that yet and it's not very strong it's not nearly as strong as the uh, magnet on the side but it's there if I need it so so I can just one-handed we go let's go to the business end so Comes down. I always keep this up. That way, it's a little platform, um, and it works out pretty good. But we can take it off for right now. There we go. So, <sighs> diagonal cutters. Uh, I think I carry like, three of these because I'm always, you know, I'm always using them and I'm always leaving them in spot. So, I have three of those. We've got some uh, south wire strippers, needle nose. Not not crazy needles, but these are fantastic. I like these as well. Some backup needle nose. And then, uh, wire strippers but they also have um you can see you can twist you can twist wire with these as well fantastic uh absolutely a, a godsend saver klein tools this is a mapper so you can actually map lines so if you're by yourself you can find circuits real easy and it works that's the main thing it actually works so fantastic uh, we've got some non-contact voltage testers we've got some klein screwdrivers uh five and ones you know eleven ones 
We've got a couple extensions right here. So one that you can just push through, but it doesn't, if, you, if you're pushing through, you might lose your bit on the other side because it just, there's nothing, nothing locking it down. And this is my lockdown one. So a couple of those. <sighs> Multi nut driver. I don't carry all the nut drivers, so I just have this and it works out great. I don't use this every day, but it's there if I need it, when I need it. A five in one. Actually, I think I have this one coming up here, but that's a five in one. You get the Phillips. Um, you got your straight edge. This one's for wall plates. Um, you know, basic, basic screwdrivers. Another screwdriver. Little multiples of everything. Screwdriver. Smaller one. We've got the drywall saw right here. So we got knife. I try to, you know, since it's black in here, we can, we have you know non-black tools because that way I can see them easily. Phillips. This is my uh, employee's uh, Craftsman straight edge, and then we've got the uh, 325581. I don't know what you want to call it, miniature screwdriver, like multi-tool. <laughs> so uh, it's fantastic. Uh, this actually works out great. So uh, that's that's basically, the, that's how I have everything set up. It's been working out fantastic. Oh, then we out down here, we've got uh, Makita's. I just got this, so this is why it's in here. But it's it's I made sure it fit, and I like it because you can see they got everything, you know, twos, T15s, 20s, 25s, multiples of each. So... I have Milwaukee's, but they didn't have, you know, they're just not labeled out. So, fantastic. You can see it's not dirty because I haven't used any of these yet. But, oh man, can't wait. It's going to be fantastic. And then we've got, obviously, quarter inch and five sixteenths. And then we've got a quarter inch, which I will replace this with a three eighths. I don't have anything quarter inch. So, it's all, you know, let me get the five sixteenths. And then we get quarter inch and all that good stuff. So, that goes in here. And then some more blades for the knife. So that's how I got it, you guys. That's pretty much it. I don't have any battery back. I mean, I, I got the trailer, obviously. So, I mean, if you guys want to see. Uh, so this is my battery backup for my impact gun. So I've got plenty. Obviously, you know, 12, you know, I'm 12, but I've got the impacts galore. And so I don't need a battery backup. I can just walk to the trailer if I need one. And I do make sure that it's charged uh, to for the work at hand. I know people are talking about, you should bring multiple batteries, but if I'm going someplace where it's, you know, minutes away from my uh, trailer command center area, then <laughs> uh, that's what it, that's what we'll do. But yeah, absolutely. Blackout tech pack for your tools. Fantastic. I, this is honestly probably going to be the last bag I buy because it, it's working out just fine. Um, this is fantastic. I do have obviously the uh, open top LC right there. And then I retired my other ones. Uh, they are just sitting in the garage, actually storage right now, but this is taking over daily, daily operations. So like and subscribe, you guys. I'll see you in the next video. I appreciate it.